uniform and non-uniform motion. 1. Uniform motion When an object moves in such a way that it covers equal distance in equal interval of time, it is called a uniform motion. During uniform motion, the body moves with constant speed throughout its journey. Example, a car moves a distance of 10 meter in each second. 2. Non-uniform motion If an object does not cover equal distance in equal interval of time, it is called non-uniform motion. If the body covers equal distances in equal interval of time, but the direction of motion keeps on changing, then also the body is said to have non-uniform motion. Example 1. The motion of a car moving on a busy road. 2. Motion of a freely falling body is also an example of non-uniform motion. Distance the length of the path travelled by a body in a certain interval of time is called distance. Example, suppose a person has to reach from point A to C and he goes through point B. Then the total path covered is given by AB plus BC is equal to distance. It is a scalar quantity because it has magnitude only and no particular direction. Its units are centimeter in CGS and meter in SI. Displacement The length of the path travelled by a body in a certain interval of time in a specific direction is called displacement. Example In figure, the person moves from point A to C. The displacement is AC is equal to shortest length between A and C. It is the shortest length between the initial and the final position of the body. It is a vector quantity because it has both magnitude and direction. Its units are centimeter in CGS and meter in SI. Explanation It may happen that displacement of a body is zero through the distance travelled is not zero. Let us consider a body thrown vertically upwards. The body reaches a certain height, H, momentarily comes at rest and then again comes back to the thrower. So, the total distance travelled is h plus h is equal to 2h. But the displacement is zero as the initial and final position of the body coincide. We can differentiate between distance and displacement as given below. Distance, displacement. 1. The length of the path travelled by a body is called distance. The shortest length between the initial and the final position of the body is called displacement. 2. It is a scalar quantity. It is a vector quantity. 3. Distance covered by a body is always positive. Displacement of a body may be positive, negative or even zero. Speed Speed is a physical quantity which tells us how fast or slow an object is moving. Example, a car moves faster while a cycle moves slower. Speed of an object is defined as the distance covered by an object per unit time. Speed, S, is equal to distance, D, upon time, T. Speed is a scalar quantity. Do you know? The average speed of a turtle is 0 0.044 meter per second. Unit of speed. The SI unit, distance is measured in meters and time in seconds. Unit of speed is equal to meter per second. A larger unit of speed is kilometer per hour. Example, suppose a car travels a distance of 50 kilometer in 2 hours, then the speed of the car is given by speed is equal to 50 divided by 2 kilometer per hour is equal to 25 kilometer per hour. Fact Light travels very fast even then it takes nearly 8 and a half minutes to reach the earth from the sun. Velocity The velocity of an object is defined as the distance covered by an object per unit time in a given direction or velocity of a body 
is the displacement produced per unit time. That is, velocity is equal to displacement upon time. Its SI unit is meter per second or velocity is a vector quantity. Along a circular path, speed of a body remains the same but velocity changes. Speed is the distance covered per unit time while velocity is the distance covered per unit time in a specific direction. In the figure, it is shown that a stone tied to a string is moving in a circle of radius equal to the length of the string. At each point of the circle, the speed of the stone is same but its direction is different, hence its velocity is different. This is because a change in direction also changes the velocity though the speed at which a body moves may remain the same. A body is said to have constant velocity if its speed as well as direction of motion do not change with time. Average speed and average velocity. Average speed is equal to total distance travelled divided by total time taken. Average velocity is equal to total displacement divided by total time taken. Explanation The average velocity of a body can be zero even though average speed is not zero. When a body moves along a circular path and comes back to the same initial position after a certain time, its displacement is zero. So, its average velocity is also zero. But the total distance travelled is equal to the circumference of the circular path. Hence, the distance travelled is not zero and therefore, the speed is also not zero. Activity To show the motion of a ball on an inclined plane. The direction of motion of a ball on an inclined plane does not change but it covers unequal distance in equal interval of time. 